Hi everybody and welcome to day 21 of ICAD. And ICAD stands for Index Card A Day. So for this one, it is so quick and easy. I have those gel prints lying around still and I am cutting them in thin strips and then I'm going to adhere them horizontally to my 4x6 card. So I'm trying to vary the colors and get a little bit of each. Even the purple one. Which I don't even think I used purple paint. I think it's just paint mixed together that made purple. Because that's golden paint and I don't have any purple golden paint. I love the colors on these gel prints that I'm using. So to adhere the strips of paper, I am using Scotch double-sided sticky tape. And I went all the way across and onto the board that I'm using just to keep the card in place as well. And then I know everything will stay nice and straight. And I'm sorry my head gets in the camera, but I needed to be over top of it to see and make sure that it was laying straight. So I'm just giving you a nice view of my grays. <laughs> they actually don't show up too bad here. My hair hasn't been colored in over a year and I'm honestly thinking that I just may not even bother to color my hair anymore. Like I never colored it a different color than what it was. Like I am naturally blonde. So I always dyed it in the blonde family. And I used to just do highlights and I would go a color lighter and a color darker and just have a mixed a mix of colors of blondes. But since it's been so long that it hasn't been dyed and I'm not minding it, even the grays <laughs> or white, whatever color it is. So it blends in. I mean, you can see them, but it's not like, you know, like I'm not completely gray. So it's not growing in that way. It's just growing in, in like strands, like wisdom highlights. <laughs> so I think I just may leave it and age gracefully. So I didn't want to cover the whole entire card. I just wanted like a band of color off center in the middle. And look who's popping up again. <laughs> and I didn't use her. Not in this one. <laughs> She's coming like a little cameo in every video. <laughs> So I tried this piece and I just, I loved it. Just that black against those colors. It's just simple and beautiful. So the, I didn't use any glue. I just took it to the sewing machine and sewed it down that way, just around the edge of the card. And I'm even, I've kept those little cutoffs that I just did. Because I do actually use them in a future iCAD. Then I take a quote from Tim Holtz Small Talk, and that is it for this card. I told you it is so quick and easy and so simple. But that die, and that die is by Art by Marlene. It is so beautiful that you don't need anything else, it just it does all the work for you. It is beautiful. So that's it for day 21. And it was so short that I've added day 22 in this video as well.
So for day 22, I started off trying to do, this is the first one that I tried doing the Lisa Oxley technique. <laughs> I call it Lisa Oxley technique. I know other people do it as well, but that's who I was inspired by. So I call it her technique because she does it all the time and she does it so well. But the problem I did not gesso my card and I wasn't even thinking about it and in order to do that technique properly your background needs to be gessoed because otherwise the paint doesn't come off it just it seeps into the paper so it did not work on this card and I ended up just doing something else completely To see I mean it's still like I mean you could still do it and you just have two tones of yellow but it's not what I wanted so I have remembered that the background needed to be gessoed and I go in with the gesso so maybe at this point I'm thinking I'll still give it a try but I don't end up doing it on this card And those little, those pieces of paper that are glued to the back of the card, or the front of the card, I don't know why I said back of card, but anyway, those are from Art by Marlene's collage sheets. One of her, the first two packs she came out with, which I have no idea if they're still available or not. It seems since she got new stuff out, her old stuff is not as easily available. Now you'll see some paint on the card, <clears throat> excuse me, that's from like me doing other iCADs and then when I had excess paint left on the gel plate or on my stencil I would just like pounce it onto this card because I had put it aside for a while and it just gathered paint and stencil marks. And that stencil that I had been using and the print that you see on it now that is the Crafters Workshop Linked Tiles. And I'm just adding some border strips. And these collage pieces that I'm using in the border, they are from Mischief Circus. And I just chose ones that were pretty much all in the same color group. Like there's light pink and green and a little bit of blue I just pretty much kids you know kept to the same colors and don't be afraid to cut apart your collage pieces as well and especially with Mischief Circus, I mean, you can, you can print as many of those as you want. Once you buy the file, that's yours forever, and you can print till the day you die. Like, it doesn't matter how many you print. So you will never run out. And these border strips, I actually cut them in half because I didn't want to take up too much of the card. I just wanted a thin border around the edge. That's one thing I like about Mischief Circus 2 versus buying actual collage sheets in a store is that I know if I use one and it's my favorite, I can use it again just simply by printing more. I love that. Now that little piece, that is actually, I think a piece of gel printed paper that I punched with a border punch. Not the one I just here, the one I'm adding glue to now. But the colors just worked with all the rest, so I used it in the corner.
Now that word strip, that is from Dina Wakeley's collage sheets and it reads, she was simple. It's actually a part of another piece that I had cut off because I didn't want it when I used the person or whatever it, it was attached to. So I'm just using glue stick to adhere everything down. I didn't bother with getting gel medium or Mod Podge out. The glue stick is working just fine. Now that head is something I drew. And that body, I know I went over it with marker, but I'm pretty sure that one, I think it's from Diane Reevely's collage sheets. I do end up drawing some of my own after because I love that body shape. I just made mine a little bit different because I didn't want it quite as long. I do like it long, but I mean for the iCads, I'm not going to use them that long. But the face was drawn by me. And a lot of people liked it. <laughs> I was surprised, but he has some fans, or she has some fans, because I guess the quote says she was simple. It doesn't matter. Be a he or a she or anything. I'm just adding some lines to the leaves. At this point, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just adding some marks. Still trying to figure out where I wanted to go with it. Then I decided to trace over or color over the words because they, they're they pretty dull, so I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. And then I'm taking a white gel pen and just adding a few highlights and then I trace around the link tile stencil in the background. Just makes it pop a little bit more. And then you don't get it in the video. I guess I didn't record it because I can't find it anywhere. But I just add some very loose journaling on the leaf. There was something that had been bothering me that day and I just got it out in writing on the leaf and I didn't want it to be like easily. You know, I didn't want you to be able to read it too easily. So not that it's super private, it wouldn't bother me. So I went over it again with more journaling so, I mean, if you tried really hard, you probably could read it, and I really don't care. It's not that private, but it's one way to do journaling if you don't want it to be, you know, legible to everybody. So, that is it for day 22. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.